Welcome back to iClone3D.com, the number one place for all your animation needs. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how we can actually fill out our scenes using 360 panoramic backdrops. Now, in a lot of instances, you can see you'll have a really nice scene put together like this one in front of you, but in the background, you've got these empty black spaces and in the foreground, you've got this empty black space that looks really amateur and it will take a really long time if you actually wanted to construct real world props to actually fill in that space. I'm gonna show you a really quick and simple way to do that using a panoramic background. So without further ado, let's crack on with today's tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is in order to add a panoramic background to your scene, we actually need to add a sky prop. So to do that, we're gonna actually go into our props in our item list. So very important to note that you must be in your item list, not in your packs, but in your items. And we're gonna scroll down to our prop section. Now under the prop section here, under the drop down menu, we're gonna look for something called 3D space. Now, if we click on this, you'll see that gives us a 360 sky prop that we can double click and that will then place that in our scene. And you can see here, we've got this nice round sphere in our scene. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the scale tool up here. And we're actually gonna scale this up just a little bit. And we're gonna do that so we can get a little bit more of a wider perspective when we add that 360 panoramic background. Now to add the background is very simple. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure in your scene tab, you've got the sky tool selected or the 360 sky selected. Then we're gonna head over to our material tab here and we'll click on that. And under the texture settings, you can see the base color. It's got this kind of blue kind of hue. We're gonna double click on this and we're just gonna be changing that and add in our 360 backdrop. So here you can see I've got one loaded up already. So I'll just double click on this. And in a second, you're gonna see that's gonna add that really nice 360 panoramic background to our scene. Now, if I go into my camera here, you'll see we've got a really nice background that actually fills out our scene. Now you can scale this up and down to make it bigger or smaller, depending on what perspective you want. And of course we can use the movement gizmo to move it back and forward just to get the perfect perspective for how we're framing our shots. Finally, you can use the rotate to actually change the position of the houses or the background images to get the perfect perspective that you want depending on what you're going for. Now this one here looks really nice to me, so I'll leave it like that. But you can see straight away guys, how that adds so much more realism to your scene by actually filling out the background. Now if I turn this off, you'll see we've just got the empty black spaces that looks really amateur and unprofessional. And of course in a professional setting, no one's gonna accept that because it just doesn't look pleasing. So very important to note when to use these 360 panoramic backgrounds and in what different scenarios you can really use them to bring your scene to life. Now also under the material tab, we can actually make these backgrounds pop a little bit more by scrolling down to the uh, self illumination here. And if we increase that and you watch the background, you'll start to see that brings a lot more light into the scene and it brings it to life a whole lot more. So a very, very simple way to actually bring that to life even more and make it pop even more. Now remember guys, you can play around with this, you can raise it up and you can rotate it just to get the perfect angle that actually gives you a realistic perspective in your scene. And you can see how much this background really does for the scene and how much it really brings it to life. So very, very simple way you can actually use these 360 panoramic backdrops to fill out your backgrounds and your foregrounds in any scene that you're creating. Now I do have hundreds of these loaded up in my shop so you can pick up different ones that work for your scenario. And as you can see, it really does help to bring that scene to life and make it look a lot more realistic and a lot more natural. Now in the second scenario, you can see I've got this really cool desert outpost, but again, we've got this issue with the background being completely black 
and looking really amateur and unprofessional. And if we go to a couple of different camera views, you can see we've got no foreground and we've got no background. It's just this empty black space. So again, another scenario where a 360 panoramic background is really gonna save you a lot of time and effort, and it's really gonna fill out your scene and sell that realism. So I'll turn on my 360 sky prop and we'll go back into our material tab and in the base color, we'll double click. And I'm just gonna add this panoramic background of a desert that I have here. And again, you're gonna see straight away that this really fills out the scene and it really does bring it to life a whole lot more. And you know, it takes a few seconds to do, but the results are magnificent. As you can see now, we've got a full scene. Now, really, really effective. And again, you know, you've got a background and you've got a foreground and you can play around with this by selecting the sky and we can use the rotation to, you know, rotate it or even raise it up and down depending on what position you want it in just to get the best perspective that you're happy with. So this is really something that you can, you know, play with to get the ultimate results. And again, we can use that self-illumination slider to really bring out the best of the colors and really make it pop even more. But again, so simple, yet so effective and really does bring your scene to life. And you know, we can really now start to kind of rotate around the scene and you can see we have a 360 panoramic background and it really does fill out that scene so much more. So really, really simple to understand and a really awesome way that you can really start to, you know, add so much depth to your scenes and get them looking incredible. Now again, guys, you can pick up tons of these panoramic backdrops in my online store and, you know, really use them to bring out the best in your scenes. Really hope this tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.